This is an instructional video on how to remove the pizza pan or brake wheel disc on an S or E series cross trainer. First thing we're going to do here is remove the rear platform to expose the pedal beam. Next what we're going to do is we're going to remove the upper pivot arm here. So what we're going to do is use an 8mm hex key with a ratchet to extract it. We're going to also disconnect the main leg beam here, which is uh, all you need is a 5mm hex key to extract this. Once you have everything loose, what you want to do is you want to get the upper pivot arm to the 12 o'clock position like this. And you can just use a dead blow hammer to slightly start to work the same forward. You also want to do the exact same thing here for the leg beam. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to remove the uh, Star Trek logo. All you'll need for this step is a flathead screwdriver. Gently work your way around. Be careful to try not to break the tabs on this. So just gently twist it until you hear pop. Okay, next what we got to do is remove this lock nut here so we can extract this pizza pan. So what you need to do is get a 13 16 or 21 millimeter socket in order to extract it. Now this bolt is fitted with Loctite 680 so sometimes it's very difficult to get it extracted so what you need to do is get yourself a good breaker bar. Sometimes you just have to put your foot into it. Now you'll be able to extract this bolt. Okay, now it's time to hook up our steering wheel puller or our harmonic balancer puller to these three bolts here. And so again, it's the uh, M8 bolts by 1.25 pitch, 55 millimeters long. What you want to do is start to thread these in here one at a time. Okay, and the bolt head size of the bolts that I purchased there are 13 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and just get these tightened up as much as I possibly can. Thread them in as far as you possibly can. Okay, the end of the puller that I have here, this end is a 19 millimeter. So what I'm gonna do is use my, my 19 millimeter socket and go ahead and use half inch dry ratchet to go ahead and turn this. If you need extra leverage, just hold on to the bar here and it's off. Okay, now we're gonna reinstall the new, uh, or install a new brake wheel. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you check the opposing side to make, and usually if it's just one side, the other side is going to be at 6 o'clock. This post here is, is going to have to be at 12 o'clock. All right. Now what you want to do is get your dead blow hammer, give it a few hits, a few hits to secure it to the shaft. Okay, now we want to throw on our brake wheel lock nut. Okay, next is to throw on the Star Trek logo. Let's go and line up your holes. Give it a couple taps. Snaps right back in. Okay, now we're going to start by getting the upper pivot arm on. Be mindful that there's a sleeve on the inside of this upper pivot arm. So, just get it started on here. Use your dead blow hammer to start it on there. Okay, next thing what you want to do is you want to start on the lower pedal beam. So, we're going to reconnect that to the pizza pan. So, lift up on it, get it into position, just get it started on here. At this point, what you want to do is now alternate between the lower leg beam and the upper pivot arm. Sometimes you have to, might have to move the arms up and down and around, so you might have to change the positions on these arms to work them back on. Also another word of advice, make sure that when you pre-start these onto the shafts, you get, the, you get them past the pedal spa or the bearing spacers on the inside. It'll help you walk on the arms a lot easier. Okay, once you have the arms back on, go ahead and get your M8 bolt. Go ahead and thread it back on there for the upper pivot arm. And then secure with your M8 hex key. 
your metal cap washer to the end cap of the of the pedal beam. And then secure with your number five hex key. Go ahead and reinstall your pedal beam and that's it.